what's up everybody it's sacred miner here so uh, as you can tell from the title we are doing a video on building tips so this is what we have here we've got one two three four five six seven eight building tips so uh, these are just little like these are just little things that you can um, add to your house, you know, spice it up a little bit. Most people think that you don't really need furniture in your house. You think, oh no, all I need is a crafting table, a furnace, some chests, you know, anvil, chanting table, you know, you think you just need like all the little crafting things, but no. Putting all of those crafting things into these little things makes it so much cooler and it makes your house look way nicer. So, starting off with number one. Right here, what we have is a nice little closet. This thing's really cool. You know, you put this in your bedroom, you know, maybe put it in a living room. You know, you open it up and you've got these little things. You can do this, you know. Um, and, you know, you don't have to really touch any of this. You know, this kind of just ruins it if you mess with all that. But, you know, this is the basic thing. You know, you can have little things in here. I forgot to put in the floor right there, but you get the point. Um... And yeah, you can you can put anything on the bamboo shelves. You know, you don't have to put a chest on it. You don't have to put a flower pot. These are the things that I would put on it. You know, you could probably put um, just two bamboo down here, uh, two bamboo scaffolds. You could put a double chest on it, and that would be it. Um, you know, uh, and then you could have like a big open space at the top if you wanted to. Um, but yeah. So at the end of each of these, I'm going to show you guys how to build it in case it looks too complicating or something for some reason. So what you'll do is you'll start off with just this stuff right here. And uh, it helps to build a little backboard right here. And what we can do is just go in and, whoops, forgot the chest. So go in, you know, you can put your stuff in and then... You're going to want to go right here on the inside and then put a door in like this. And you might have to break a door and replace it or something, but you know, you're going to want to get uh two you want to get the handles right in the centers. And then right on the sides here, you just add the trap doors. Crouch for that bit. Put that there. And then you just close it. And then right up here, you have to put a block for this part. So you just put a block in, you put these ones on the sides, close them, and then you put these ones up here. It's better if they're like this because if you put them like that and you have something in that top, it's going to be a little bit harder for you to reach it. So it's better to just put it like this and close it up. Of course, you don't want that there. And whatever, I don't know, if you if you end up having a really tall ceiling, then what you can do is you can put this on the top. But if you have, like what I usually have, just a max three block tall ceiling, then I wouldn't need to put those two trap doors at the top. So, you know, and you can basically just, you know, you can add whatever you want on the inside. I'm not going to go over how to decorate the inside. You know, this is the storage area. You can put whatever you want inside of it. Um, but yeah, close that up and we'll move on to the next one. So right here what we have is like a nice dining room table, you can put this right in the center, this could be a nice centerpiece, you can put it in a kitchen, a living room, you know, um, you, could, you can have it as a little bedside table, I have that as, um, I have this as, um, I have just a single scaffold as a bedside table with a carpet on top and that's like a little nightstand that I have in one of my worlds. Um, I also have it as a dining room table in another world. So, you know, this is really simple, but, you know, it's, it's just scaffolding with some carpet on top. It can be any color you want. You know, you could mix up the colors. You know, you can make it, uh, make it red or something. I don't know. You could do something like this. Make the whole thing red, you know. You can do whatever you want with it, but, you know, that's how you do that. Um, this next one, number three, this one's going to be a little bit, this one's a little bit more complicated, I guess. You know, it's not a big deal. Um, 
but we have here is an aquarium. It's really nice. I have this um, right over there actually when I was first trying to build it and I was testing it out. And what you can do is you can close it up and it looks nice, you know. Looks pretty cool. Um, and then sea cucumbers, those are actually a lighting source underwater, so if you put these into the tank, it lights things up a bit, makes it look nice. You can put some sea grass in it. Um, these blocks down here are sandstone, and that's prismarine in the back. Looks like a nice little aquatic backdrop in the background. Um, and what I forgot to add, but it's very useful to have it, is you can put a staircase right there along the top and it just keeps it just makes it look a little bit flatter from this angle and it looks like there's a ceiling to it um, you can add fish inside of this that's pretty cool I like that about this you can put some fish in um, I wouldn't get too excited about having fish inside of it because they can despawn and everything uh, ooh that's a cool fish damn um, like they'll despawn and all that. I've had it happen before. I've gone to an ocean. I've picked out some fish that I thought were cool, and then I brought them back to my aquarium. And oh, they're disappearing. Actually, the best way that you can fix this is not with the staircase block like that. It's actually probably better if you just put a slab straight across this block right over here. If you put a slab right on the bottom half of it. You don't have to worry about it destroying this source block because, oh boy, it's falling apart now. Um, because now with the uh, new aquatic update, there's waterlogged blocks, so you don't have to worry about breaking a water source if you put a slab or a staircase in or anything. So if you put in a, let's get it out. I want to show you guys if you if you're not really knowledgeable on this stuff. Um, let's get this fish out of here. I like this fish, but I'm gonna have to kill it. So you see, you can put it like this, and it's not gonna ruin the source block. And there's still water in here. I should have done this before, but this will stop the fish from swimming all the way up. They'll keep, you know, they'll they'll go up to like the little roof of it. You know, they naturally want to swim upwards, but they'll keep them in. Uh, they will not jump out through the front. I haven't seen it happen before, so I don't know if they will, but I haven't seen it, so I'm going to say that they won't. Um, you know, they'll peek out, they'll peek their face through the water and stuff, but that's kind of it. So, time to show you guys how to build it. This one's a little bit weird, so... Alright. Oh, crap. I messing up my whole flow, dudes. So, what you're going to do is go over here. Just build that up a bit. Build a little frame. And then, actually we don't need this. And then you'll put sandstone in. Just like that. And we'll go under here. And what you'll do is you'll put you want, I don't, you can put other things, I think. I put sandstone, I haven't experimented with it very much. Uh, sandstone, I do know. I, 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 yeah, I'm certain it does work, because I have it over there. Um, so you just go under here, and, and then right where the floor is, let's see, um, I'll put some more of this. You just go right here, and then you put your levers. Flip, 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 and then it'll flip up all the trap doors. Um, makes it look a little bit nicer, I think. So now you've got that little bit, and now to add the trap doors along the sides, just add that little bit there, close it up, and then just right across here, put some more right. Oops, that. Close that up. You can leave that there. You can break out all of this. And then, like I said before, 
you don't want to have some kind of slab with you, I recommend it's another block that blends in nicely with all the other ones. So I'm going to use Dark Prismarine. So what you're going to do is you want to have this trap door in first. You need to have this one in first, otherwise the water is going to flow out. This helps to keep the water in and block it. So just put the water in like that, it'll stay in. Then put in your slab. Uh, you can close off the top, you know, do your thing with it, whatever. You know, all that cool stuff that looks really nice. Um, and the more pickles that you add to it, the brighter it gets as you just saw there. So watch that again. It's a little bit brighter, a little bit brighter. Max brightness. You actually get a um, you actually get a trophy for that. It's called one pickle, two pickle, C pickle, four, I think. Uh, something like that. Cute little rhyme. I don't know. Uh, you can add seagrass in it. You know, you can do that. Um, and that, that's it. You know. Oops. Close it up and all that. Fish in it. Um, it's really nice to just have in a house. At the end of this video, I'll show you guys an example of what I've built on a house. So. Next example at number four, we've got a nice little kitchen setup thing. Um, this is really cool. I like this one. Hold on, I want to add something to it. Let's grab some water bottles. You know, it doesn't have to be anything fancy, but you know. And uh, this is like a little kitchen thing. You know, you got like a, you can pretend that you can always pretend that uh, what's it called? A flower pot is a cup. And you can pretend the brown stuff, the dirt, you can pretend that's some kind of drink, you know, you could say it's coffee, you could say it's, like, I don't know, some kind of beer or mead, I don't know. Um, and you could say this is, like, I don't know, so maybe a coffee maker, I don't know, this is some weird Minecraft coffee maker. So, uh, you know, you got this a little bit here, too. Um, this is, like, a stove, an oven, whatever you want to call it. Uh... And this could, you'd pretend this is basically a cabinet or a pantry type thing. Um, this is a nice way to store food. You know, I like, to, I like to do this from like, you know, I store bread, you know. I like to pretend that this is a real life kitchen, you know. I'd store things that aren't going to need a fridge in here. I'd store like bread, um, I don't know, what else do you not need to put in a fridge? Um... I don't know, dried kelp, some cookies, you know, apples, well I guess you could put apples in the fridge if you wanted to, you know, and then I'd put things like fish, meat, soups, I'd put all of that into, um, and I'd have a, I'd have a separate storage for all that, but, you know, this would be the, um, this would be the oven, you just, you just cook things like that, really simple, um, and right here I've got all the building supplies. If it looks too complicated for someone, here it goes. So we're just gonna build it up like this. Let's see. Throw that in. Just like that, and you're gonna do the same thing you did over on the fish tank with those trap doors. You're just gonna, just gonna go in, crouch to do this, and then let's see. Oh crap! All right, whatever. Put that up. All right, you know, what? just blend the whole thing. Boom. Nice. So you got that little bit there, and then you just this Oops. um you know and you can put whatever you want on the counter I would prefer I, I don't know I'd recommend that you put um you know like a flower pot and the brewer station up there you know it just makes it look a little bit like you know like there's more stuff on it um but yeah so then number five we've got a nice way to fill up your walls if you got a lot of empty walls and you feel like paintings aren't very good then you can put in shelves, you can fill up the walls like that. Of course I wouldn't fill up a wall like this, this is way too much, I was just filling it all up uh, as an example. You can put in um, 
you know, you can put in uh, what's, uh, slabs, you can put in stairs, you can put in scaffolding, you can put in trap doors of different types, you know, and you can just throw stuff in, um, you know, yeah, but it's pretty cool, I don't know if, I don't know if you guys, you guys can, it's pretty simple, you know, you just throw this kind of stuff up on a wall, but, you know, just in case someone doesn't know how to do that, you know, just, it's gonna be really quick about this one. Really simple, you know, you could put on the scaffolding, you could stack this stuff up pretty high if you wanted. Um, you, know, you could put it all long ways, you can put in this kind of stuff like that, you know, you could put in more like that, put in stuff like that, and you can put in that, but make sure that, um, when you put in the slabs, make sure it's not the bottom block because then you won't be able to place stuff on top of that so just keep that in mind when you're building you know so yeah you've got stuff like that you know it's pretty cool simple stuff um but yeah all right so moving on number six you guys you know yeah we're number six yeah so number six we've got a variety of bookshelves you know well, i guess it's not really a variety if there's like two types but i like to count this middle one as a third so um, you know, you got them like this, uh, they're just staircases with a slab in the center, and then more slabs on top, and then a bookshelf right behind it, and then this is pretty similar to the kitchen, the way that it has the scaffolding with the trap doors in front of it, you know, and instead of wood in the, in the behind, and the stairs, you know, you got bookshelves there and everything, um, you don't need to have the trap doors there. I think it just makes it look more solid, secure, I think. Uh, but yeah, so this is what you'll do. Oops. Very simple stuff. Uh, start off with the first couple ones. You'll just do this. You put them in like that. Another staircase like that. You just do the, sa the the bottom row the same right above it, and then to finish it off, you just put slabs just like that, and then right across. You don't have to go all the way up. You just cover up the top really quick, and then boom. Now you've got a nice little bookshelf. You can do the same thing, but just with no slabs. You can do it just like this, and. Like, no slabs in the middle, I mean, but of course you'll top it off at the top. And then, more bookshelves. Just like that. And then that last one that we saw there was this. Just like that. Find some bookshelves. Put this in. like that and then you can do that and then to finish it off you can do this with just finishing off the trap doors and then that is all you need boom done easy peasy um, I don't know, this, this you don't really have to do, I just kind of added this because I thought it'd be fun. Um, these are just beds, you just put some signs on the, uh, right around the sides. You know, I guess it just makes your bed look, I guess it looks a little bit cooler, you know, it just kind of fills up space, I don't know. I don't know, it's a little addition, you don't have to. Um, this is really basic, it, there's like, actually, I feel like there shouldn't be any explanation. You know, it's just, it's just a bed with signs, you know, just... Boom, oopsie, wrong one. Let's put a bed. And then you just, you know, it's really simple. You don't have to do very much. You know, that's kind of it. Um, and then for the last one, this is definitely one of my favorites. It's a nice little desk. And you can pretend this is a laptop right here. Uh, you got like the chair and everything. And you got a nice little plant, bamboo. Um, this one I really, really like. This is. This is one of my favorite pieces of furniture. So, you need to have a wall for this one. You have to have the desk up against the wall if you want to have the laptop. If you don't want a laptop, 
then then you don't have to have a wall. Like you have to have the wall if you want to build the laptop. So just gonna build this up really quick. And then what you're gonna wanna do is take this, put the stairs in, put a slab, break off those two, uh, go over it with whatever you want to use as a stair, um, like whatever you want to use as a seat. Oops, you put those on the side. Uh, if you want, you can you can add another sign or something, whatever, to the back. Um, and then right here, that's when you add a, um, an iron pressure plate or a heavy pressure plate, and then you put a picture, or I mean uh, a painting, throw a painting in, right in the back, but you, if you have a big wall or something, which you probably will, you're going to want to separate it, you're going to want to separate the painting like this, just put uh, blocks on the walls on the three sides right there, and then just place around until you get what you think would be a nice little wallpaper for your, um, for the back of your laptop, and then you've got that, you know, you don't have to. You can add the um, you can add the little plant or something, you know. Um, you can do what you want. These are uh, this is a new flower, by the way, lily of the valley, really beautiful. And we've got another one called corn flower. That one's really nice too. I'm gonna keep that there. So yeah, uh, that's all we got so far. Um, and I told you guys I was gonna show you guys a an example of a house that I built um, with some of those examples there. Um, this is also something really cool. I should have added this. Um, you can add a little. You can actually have a little barrel, and you can pretend this is something that you would use for washing up. It's really simple. It's a cauldron with trap doors on all four sides, and you know you can like sit in it. I guess. Hold on. Yeah. There we go. You know, pretend you're taking like a, a bath or something, you know, you could sit in here and say that you're relaxing, you know, you're doing your thing. Um, and you know, this is an example of what you could do. I did this on one of my houses in another world. Uh, I usually like to build things here before I build it on an actual world, so this is what I built right here. This is a nice little example. This is another way that you can build. Oh, what? That sucks. Damn. Alright, home, we can fix this. What did we learn today, children? We learned that you can use things like stairs and slabs and pressure plates and such as shelves. And so that's what we're going to use. Um, but yeah, that's what I've got right here. I've got some other little things like that, you know, making use of the slabs and the scaffolding uh, making use of the stairs you know I didn't fill this up with anything yet but boom um, this is another version of the other type of wardrobe that I built like this um, you can add buttons to the sides of wood that looks really nice um, yeah, I got this those uh, trapdoors are just filling up space you know making it look cool you know, you got all this, but yeah. So, what we've got here is an example of what you could do for a bedroom. Um, you know, you got a nice desk, you know, you've got the bed with the with all the signs on the side. You can do this thing with torches where you put a torch on, wait, no, where you put a sign, you put an anvil inside the item frame. Yeah, an item frame, an anvil, and then right where you can look at the outside of this, uh, right behind the block, I mean, uh, right behind the item frame, onto the block, you can put a torch down, and it'll pop up just like that. And it looks like it's kind of like a torch holder a little bit. Um, but yeah, you know, and when you put a carpet, it doesn't have to be perfect and square, and, you know, it doesn't have to be anything like that. It can be a little bit random. You know, it's part of the beauty. Um, another example of the, um, of the shelves for the books and here's the same wardrobe that we built earlier uh, just a different sapling in the top you know 
more chest, you know, just different stuff on the inside. Um, and then making use of more of the stuff. Uh, I built a very, very similar uh, living room to a house. This was it. I built um, this nice little dining room. These chairs, you know, I got dried kelp block as kind of like a carpet that goes under the table. Thought that looked a little bit nice. Um, you know, I've got the uh, got the aquarium, got that whole thing, and oh, I really like this thing. Hold on, I'm going to show you guys this. This is a bookshelf. This is another version of a bookshelf that I didn't show you guys, but there it is. You know, it's very simple. It's just uh, trap doors along the side. Got some in the middle. You know, but check this out. This is the coolest part, I think. You get a bow. You get an arrow. I'm really good at redstone, so. I think it's maybe right there. Where is it? It's in the corner. Where is it? There we go. Yeah. So you hit the corner and then it uh, opens this up. As soon as you collect the arrow, it um closes it up. It's a nice little secret path type thing. Um. You can open it back up by doing the same thing. There we go. And then, boom, back out. I think the, yeah, it's, it's a pretty nice little little thing. It's a nice uh, secret door. I like building secret doors. It's my thing. It's what I like to do. When I, whenever I build a house, you can guarantee that I have at least, at least like three or four or something, like secret rooms somewhere. You know, they're always hidden some way, some really cool way. I don't know. Got bridges here and all that. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, you know, that's, that's what I've got for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, you know, I hope you all are able to make use of all these ideas, um, all these tips. You know, I hope you all are able to spice up your houses a little bit, incorporate some more design, you know, uh... Just make it look more like a real life home, I guess. You know, it doesn't have to always be the basics. It doesn't always have to be the crafting tables and all of that. It can be nice little things, you know. It uh, it really, it really helps when you like walk into a house. You know, it feels like it's like it's got a lot of life in it. I guess I don't know. Um, but yeah, you know, let's all take a quick look at all these one more time. So we've got all of these, you know. Some horses in the background that we don't care about. Some shelves, you know. You got all this. Got all that. Beautiful. So yeah, you know. But uh, hope you all found this useful. If you guys did, uh, you know, uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, but anyways, let's finish off this video. I uh, hope you all liked this video. If you did, like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.